हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एल एस टी सी दिस इज बापी सरकार टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एप्रोप्रिएट कंट्रोल मेजर फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी इफ यू मिस द थ्री एब पार्ट व्हिच इज हिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड हैजार I'll put the link in the description below. You can check from there. So, control measure, protection of conductors. Electrical conductors should be protected by insulation so that a person is not exposed to a live conductor. For example, cables should be insulated by an unbroken, undamaged sheet. so that the live copper conductors are never exposed strength and capability of equipment electrical equipment must be carefully selected to ensure that it is suitable for the electrical system that it will become a part of the tasks that it will perform the environment in which it will be used fuse A fuse is a device used to prevent current overload. A fuse offers a good level of protection for the electrical equipment against current overload that might damage the equipment or cause overheating, fire or explosion. miniature circuit breaker which is simply known as a mcb are electromechanical devices that work in a similar way to fuse to protect equipment from current overload one significant difference is that mcb does not melt in response to current overload arthing arthing is a way of protecting equipment so that in the event of an electrical fault current flow safely to earth rather than flowing through a persons who might be touching the equipment isolation of supply Isolation is the removal of electrical power from a circuit or system. This might be achieved using a switch or by pulling the plug out. to ensure safety isolation should always be physically secured before people work on the dead system this is often achieved by fad locking isolator in the off position by log out and taking out system double insulation two layers of insulation between the user and any live conductor this eliminates the need to provide earth protection so double insulated equipment will have a two core port live 
एंड न्यूट्रल Double insulation is commonly used as the means of protection for handheld portable electrical equipment such as a hedge trimmer. Residual current device which we generally know as RCD uh, residual current device is specifically designed to protect human life in the event of electric shock it is very sensitive to small current imbalance in a circuit low voltage system the lower the voltage at which an electrical system is operated the lower the risk of injury associated with electrical shock competent person is someone who has the knowledge of electricity experience of electrical work and understanding of the system to be work on and understanding of the hazard and the precaution needed the ability to recognize whether it is safe for work to continue safe system of work safe system of work must be developed when work on or near electrical systems create risks work on or near live electrical system a safe system of work must be in place to ensure that the live work can be carried out safely permit to work system competent persons insulated ppe such as gauntlet and boots insulated tools and equipment such as screw driver designated work areas such as r3 zones emergency procedures if in spite of all the available control measures being in place an electrical incident occurs in the workplace all workers or individuals should be aware of the following method for dealing with an electrical shock casualty do not touch them 
call for help, switch them off, pull them away from the life part using timber or dry clothing, call for an ambulance, check breathing. Inspection and maintenance. Electrical installation and equipment should be routinely inspected to ensure electrical safety. Thank you everyone, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you find this video informative, do like, subscribe and share. So this is what we all have about electrical safety. See you in the next time with fire safety. Till then take care and stay safe. Bye bye all.